Hey friends, it's me Jenny, and today I'm really excited to present a collaboration between myself and an ortho doll from YouTube. She has so many awesome videos to choose from. She also does beauty and other awesome videos as well. You should definitely check out her channel. I went ahead and chose a couple of designs from her channel and I wanted to combine her style with mine. So I really liked the look of this off the shoulder t-shirt that she did. I really like how she did the ties at the bottom of this one too, but I even more so liked the fringe on this one shirt. So I kind of did like a combination of a few of her suggestions in her tutorials. A few weeks ago I got a pack of five shirts. So I chose to use a shirt that I had done some bleached shirt design on a while back. I was just hand painting bleach onto these regular Fruit of the Loom t-shirts from Target and I wanted to just practice painting with bleach and see how it looked and see if I liked it. I was thinking about printing out an actual stencil next time, that way I could design it on the computer and then paint the bleach with the stencil and maybe just spray it on using a spray bottle or something. Something I normally like to do is cut off the bottom edge of the shirt and then I'll cut off a few extra strands just in case I want to add extra strands to the shirt design later. Then I cut off the edge seams on the shirt sleeves and this is where we implemented the design from an Orthodox video and we cut off the, um, the top of the shoulders and I kind of just followed her guidelines without actually making markings of my own because I never wound up finding perfect chalk. One of these days I'm sure I'll find some perfect chalk uh, for marking my shirt so I just kind of eyeballed it. As usual I was careful not to cut through the wrong layers of fabric. And then I decided to make some slits and a cut down the edge of the sleeves too. This is where I cut strand, oh, fringe. This is where I cut fringe all the way from the bottom up until where I had these like, I just put some markers on either side of the shirt as guidelines. After I cut the fringe, I just stretched out the fabric. And then I folded the shirt in half and I cut slits all the way down the back. Once again, I was really careful not to cut through the wrong layers of fabric, and especially where the fabric gets thin, like at the top up here, um, this is where you can make a critical mistake, and um, I just have been there before, so I was just really careful not to cut these little slits too wide or anything. After I was done with that, I just laid it out flat and took a look to make sure I liked how it looked so far, and then I used those extra layers of fabric that we cut off the bottom to um, add to the sleeves and on the sides. I weaved the strands that I slit on the back and I was sure to secure them by uh, tying an extra strand at the bottom. This is where you can get creative and you can really kind of tie it in any way you think is most secure. Sometimes I'll make an extra little hole at the very bottom and then just tie it with an extra strand of fabric. In this case, I had a whole bunch of fringe at the bottom, so I used the fringe to tie a knot at the bottom of the weave. I stretched the strands of fabric a little bit. I stretched it into place a little bit, and then I was sure to do the same on the sides. On the sides of the shirt, I had cut strands and weaved a little bit on the sides too. I've been using the same giant bag of beads that my friend gave me probably, I don't know, even like six years ago or something. <laughs> uh, but I have all these cool beads that my friend had given me and I chose to use some pink beads. As for the beads, I chose two different shades of pink and decorative pink stars. I used a tiny strand of thread to get the bead onto the, the fringe. I decided to add some additional spaghetti straps to the top by poking tiny little holes, taking a string of fabric and tying it in a knot um, and doing that on both sides, both the front and the back and then tying it in a little bow on top. We also cut some strands down the front of the shirt and I used a wooden, I think they're called a orange stick. 
I got um, a bunch of manicure stuff. I've been doing these DIY manicures lately. And so I used that little orange stick. It's usually used for manicures, but it was super convenient for weaving the front of the shirt. And I'll probably use this technique in the future too, because I know some people use knitting needles, but um, while I really appreciate knitting and crocheting, I haven't really got into that too much yet or anything. Um, I did try it a few times in the past, long time ago, but I uh, never really had the patience to get good at crocheting or anything, so don't have any needles like that around, but the wooden orange stick worked great. <laughs> I don't know if it's made from orange trees, but it's meant for using on your cuticles, like pushing back your cuticles. Or... So after that, I think I was pretty much done with the shirt. Um, I hope you love the way it turned out. I was actually way more happy with the shirt after I added the details. Thanks so much to Orthodoll who also did a video from my channel, and that was a really fun collab idea, and I'm really glad we got to do this. So thanks so much, friend, for the awesome idea. If anyone's not already subscribed to Unorthodoll's channel, you should definitely go check it out. She also is very active on Instagram and TikTok, so be sure to follow her over there as well. As for myself, I'm pretty active on most social media platforms. If there's anything in particular that you would like to see on my DIY with Jenny channel or on my main channel or the gaming channel, just let me know. Have a great day, friends, and I'll talk to you later. See you next time.